Hi guys, we're back working on our white XJ project and we're going to deal with our rockers. We had some rust in there and we wanted to do something to try and make it a little stronger. So we were looking at doing the standard 2x6 box rocker that everybody does. So we we're going to do that, but we looked at it and we said, you know, I think we can do better. So let's take a look at what we did. This is awesome. We really did a lot to really make this a whole lot stronger. First off, we've got a lot of support in here. We're coming all the way to the bottom of the door sills. So we've got great support at the A, B, and C pillars. We've got some inner gussets to make sure nothing can collapse. We're super high ground clearance. We're coming flush to the bottom of the floor. We've got some boat sides to really help to maximize our ground clearance. This thing is gonna be so stout. You're gonna be really happy, really gonna be able to give a beating on that thing and not have to worry about it. This is our box rocker kit. This is what's really gonna work well to replace the two by six box tubing that we normally would have used. We're coming in with this inner gusset, which is gonna tie flat down to the sill of the doors. And that's gonna get us contact at the A, B, and C pillars. It's gonna give us a ton of strength. This is gonna be really, really beefy. Then we're gonna come into our outer skin. This is basically gonna be our rock slider, so to speak. You've got our boat side here and just a nice smooth bottom that's gonna glide over any obstacle you run across. We've got some nice gussets here that are really gonna make it strong. And then some caps that are gonna cap the front and the back and really make sure nothing can twist, turn, or move on you. This is kind of how it looks all assembled. This inner gusset is gonna go straight up to the bottom of the door sills. We've got some big ass holes here so that our seatbelt bolts can get in there without having to worry about those. And then you're gonna get into our outer skin. This is gonna be kind of your finished edge, and this is really gonna be a ton of strength, far stronger than you're ever gonna get out of two by six box rocker. So we've got the whole kit all mocked up here, kind of showing everything that you get. You guys might be asking, why do we have this cut in half? So we did that to try and help save you time, save you money. You're gonna save time by simply hitting click and buy and have it shipped to you right to your door. It's gonna save you strain on your back when it goes to put this thing in. You're gonna have four individual segments as opposed to one big heavy tube. And it's gonna save you the trip down to the steel yard where you're gonna spend all day trying to get a piece of two by six box tubing. This will be a lot easier for you. Guys, so we showed you what we've got for the box rocker kit. Now we're gonna show you how it all fits onto the vehicle. This one had some rust, so we cut out the rockers, just did a real quick job, got it kind of rough. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to put it in place how we're actually gonna run it. Uh, you can kind of see all the corresponding holes that we've got in those inner gussets correspond to the different fasteners that are in here, um, you know, holding the seat belts and trim screws and such. That way it's quick and easy. You don't have to deal with relocating those or refastening those. But we're going to come in, we're going to cut this right on the edge of the roll here. So we're kind of flattish on this edge. And that way we've got a nice spot to weld. It's easy to attach to our gusset. And now our gusset's going to be tied to the bottom of the sill, which is gonna be where our C pillar, B pillar, and our A pillar all have got double wall. That's gonna make it extra, extra strong and give us the ma maximum strength we can get out of it. We've got this first section all fitted up. We're centered up real nice on the seatbelt bolt. That's a real nice location for you guys to note. We're gonna come up here with our jack stands. You guys are gonna probably use a floor jack and a two by four or something. Get some real nice upward pressure to hold it to that B and C pillar. Then we're gonna come in on the top where we're gonna weld our factory rocker right to this new gusset that we've got in place. We're gonna start cutting the front to get this ready to fit. We're gonna come in and cut the bottom of the front fender. We're gonna follow right along with our tape line. We'll roll all the way back. And we're gonna cut right at the top edge of that rocker again. Once that's cut, we'll come back down underneath. We're gonna cut right along this edge here that'll be flush to the bottom of the floor. We'll be able to take this piece out. And we'll come in, just use our sawzall to cut a little notch in here to get that inner structure out of the way. And then there'll be room for the gusset to fit into place. Oh, 
Bismillah. We've got all this bracing in here, and it's tying into our A, B, and C pillars. So we've got all this strength that's coming in right into this B pillar. I've been through a rollover. I know what it's like when this vehicle collapses on you. My A pillar collapsed, my C pillar collapsed. The B pillar was strong, that's what kept me safe. So we're tied in here. We've got multi layers of steel, comes in where we're tying into the hinges, tying into the door latch. This is the strongest part of this vehicle. And this is where the most load that you're gonna apply on it from hitting rocks and logs and whatnot. This is what we want. So this will keep you guys safe and keep your rockers really, really well protected. We've got everything dry fit. So now we're ready to start getting ready to weld. So we're gonna take everything back out of here. We're gonna clean it all up, get all the rust taken care of, get, uh, get it down to bare metal where we're gonna weld. Then we'll be able to start fully assembling this, welding it and getting the full rockers completed. So we've got our gussets all tacked into place. We're gonna come in, fully weld those, and then we're gonna come in, put the outer skins on and get that all fully welded, just ready to go. So we've got our caps all welded on. We came in after we were done welding, we came in grounded smooth, so we've got no hangups underneath and just gives it a nice real finished look to it. You can leave it as an exposed weld if you like, whatever works for you. But we really have got just a really nice showcase of how well this thing's tied in. We've got the whole door sill here. You can see where our welds came in and actually really fused to the, to the bottom of the door sill. And we're getting a lot of tie in now to the A, B, C and, a, B and C pillars that are really gonna give this thing just a ton of strength. You're gonna be able to take it out and really abuse it and have a lot of fun, not have to worry about anything failing on you. As you can see that we've gotta do some trimming. We've got some big tires coming, so we're gonna to have to do quite a bit of trimming. We'll do that a little bit later, but once we do that, we're gonna have access a little better to get into this A-pillar. We're gonna tie this rock slider back into the A-pillar a little bit more, weld a couple plates in there, get that all welded real solid. Then we're gonna come in and seam seal it, Try and make sure that we keep all the water and grime out of there so you kind of protect the investment that you did. Um, we'll finish it up, we'll paint the whole works, and then we'll be moving on to the next step. Thanks for watching. <laughs>